Lesson 3.4, solving equations with variables on both sides. How do you solve equations with variables on both sides? We have an identity we need to talk about, an equation that is true for all values of the variable, steps for solving multi-step equations, simplify everything on the left side of the equal sign, simplify everything on the right side of the equal sign, and then move the numbers with variables to one side and combine like terms. So for the first equation here, everything's simplified on both sides of the equal sign. Now we must move all the variables to one side. So the first thing we're going to do, because we have a positive 4x, we are going to subtract 4x to both sides. This eliminates x on the right side of the equal sign. Now we are left with 7 minus 12x equals negative 17. Now we must isolate x, so we have to move the term without the x in it first, and because it's a positive 7, we must subtract 7 to both sides. So the left side, we're, we're, we're left with negative 12x. On the right side, negative 17 minus 7 equals negative 24. Now we must divide both sides by negative 12. On the left side, we're left with x, and negative 24 divided by negative 12 equals positive 2. Now we must check our solution. So we have to substitute 2 into the original equation for x. So we have 7 minus 8 times 2 equals 4 times 2 minus 17. Eight times two is 16, four times two is eight. Seven minus 16 equals negative nine. And eight minus 17 equals negative nine. Negative nine equals negative nine. So two is a solution. Now to solve the next equation, we must simplify the right side of the equation before we can move all the variables to one side. So we must distribute 1 fourth. 1 fourth times 16 equals 4. 1 fourth times 60 equals 15. So we have 9x minus 5 equals 4x plus 15. Now we are going to move all the x's to the left side. So because we have a positive 4x, we must subtract 4x to both sides. 9x minus 4x equals 5x. 5x minus 5 equals 15. Now we add 5 to both sides. So we're left with 5x equals 20. And now because we're multiplying 5x, we divide both sides by 5. We're left with x equals 4. Now we must check our solution by substituting 4 back into the original equation for x. So we have 9 times 4 minus 5 equals 1 fourth times the quantity 16 times 4 plus 60. 9 times 4 is 36. 16 times 4 is 64. 36 minus 5 is 31. 64 plus 60 is 124. 1 fourth times 124 equals 31. 31 equals 31, so 4 is a solution. Now we must identify the number of solutions in the following equations. First, we have 3x plus 3 times the quantity x plus 4. 
So to solve for x, on the right side we must distribute the 3. So we have 3 times x is 3x, and 3 times 4 is 12. So 3x equals 3x plus 12. Now we're going to move all the variables to one side. So we subtract 3x to both sides, and we're left with 0 equals 12. Since this is not a true statement, there are no solutions. For the next one, we must simplify the right side by distributing. So we have 2 times x is 2x, and 2 times 5 is 10. Now we move all the variables to the left side. So we subtract 2x to both sides. We are left with 10 equals 10. Because the two numbers are equal to each other, this means that for all values of x, the statement is true, and that is called an identity. So we have an infinite number of solutions for x.